the same rosters, Mirage will be a nice proving grounds to recover the day. Let's see what they can make of it. So, of course, I think in the interview with Hunter, they mentioned something about... Uh, he mentioned about how they were kind of losing on mid, not having a lot of information, not playing for it, not bringing ideas, I think was the big thing. Oh, this one's fast. Uh, SDY already out. Oof. He's looking for the player in sight, but Hooksy's already gone ahead and tucked into the marketplace. He's going to die to the Perfecto spam from bench side. So, just playing up close. Nico tries to slide out. Didn't expect Bit to be right there on the window. We got a bomb plant and a comfortable 4v3 by the looks of things for Navi. Fight up close goes the way of JKS. As Hunter slides slightly beyond that arch, and the bodies start to topple here for Navi. Things suddenly under question as Hunter connects a second in this opening round. Ooh. How about a third? Yeah, nice one from Hunter. He's definitely a little angry, I think, from that previous match. And looking very good now. So, we know, we know about JKS on Mirage. So, I guess with the spots, they didn't play Mirage yet. So, that'll be interesting. We can already talk about that. So, JKS, of course, infamously has made it his name playing uh, A Anchor on Mirage, playing under Balk, being very good at it. Very notable long range spray, which I think saves his teams sometimes when he's playing on phase, when he was playing uh, with the Australian boys. Ozzy Ozzy's. Yes. At one point in time. Hooksy picking up over on the B side. And they are still leaving Hunter towards Cat. So there's not much shifts for them. Whereas when we looked at Vitality, for example, I think they they suffered a little bit more with how much they had to move around with Sphinx. They switched him over to Connector and then they had uh, they kept Dupree on Cap and then Apex move over towards B. And look at the amount of damage done right here for G2. So many players are extremely low. Near collateral to that Galil spray inside of the palace, but poor Perfecto just gets the damage in. JKS wants the Galil. Nice guy. Yeah, a real top G. Head trick in the server. A name that, you know, some could be unfamiliar with, but if you've kept your eyes on the uh, We Play Academy Leagues, well, Head Trick does damage. And he slides out into the jungle right now. So he gets past that first fight, Nico, though, given a second chance to finish him, will do exactly that. And we're back into the three versus three, so just finishing off the little bits of HP that were left. Um, honestly, he's in a comfortable spot. In the electronic, you know, he really wants to win that, but... His death allows the plant. Now, SDY up to the plate, and Monty takes him down, too. Bits Tech 9 is going to have to be the difference here. That frag certainly won't help. Three quarters his health. Two players that would die so easily, but Hunter's going to stick that bomb the entire way. And Hooksy just gives enough cover to make sure that the retake comes through. Three alive there for G2. Yeah, yeah. So they, they're going to have, I guess, some stuff. I guess it, it's good for them to get to kind of reassess their mirage and, and what they'll do, what they can do differently and talk about things. But so far, so good here for G2. Though I think they had that same start in their first go of things. That wasn't exactly enough. But another buy. Navi keep it coming. Tech 9 to bit. Looking for the late clamp down on mid. Of course, they can hear on top of them at cat, but that won't make a difference. The longer the wait, the less attention will be there from the CT side. As bit begins to scale. He's got the full nade set, and this is what bit does. He he puts all the pressure on connector while he works underpass, but they miss the window smoke and deny bit's vision coming out. This is a real big mistake. Some smokes are missed on purpose, of course. And actually, electronic even though this isn't a new move at this point, it's a new position for Electronic on the T side, playing inside of top mid. And when he first switched over here, there was clearly some discomfort with the angles where he was getting shot through boxes, not knowing when his body was exposed. So that can also lead into, you know, some missed grenades, even if it is just an honest mistake. 
Honestly makes the first one easy, but Electronic's there for the trade. Good spacing for Navi. And the space between the connector players and everybody else is filled full of Nico and JKS. So JKS, again, comfort zone, right? Still playing underneath Ballas. Plug and play. Nico pops up, drops Perfecto. Things now become a little bit more one-sided on this offense, trying to come out from ramp. Hedrick slipping through Sandwich almost catches Nico off guard, but Nico's tearing him up. And finally, he goes down to the hands of Electronic. Eight seconds to that clock, and he gets swarmed. Just not enough time and not enough players at that point. The 2v1 to G2. So another round that goes their way to start. Yeah, kind of goes under the radar, but a pretty incredible trade there from Nico to get a second kill. And also the coverage for JKS as he's watching over top of the balcony. That's actually his third here. Yeah, this one's nuts. Yep. Hedrick had him for sure. Especially with that element of surprise. Yeah. He was the one guy that got to slide out further from ramp, but... Oh, be a tough start. Back to the pistols. Unfortunately, I think a lot of that came down to the window. Oh, what you doing, bud? Try to dodge those flashbangs. Nico just pounces on his prey. Nico, pretty fiery start so far, Mirage. Yeah, he's doing good. He's I mean, he good. put up numbers earlier today as well, right? Yeah. Uh, it's to no one's surprise that Nico's getting kills. There was this thing with uh, Forrest for a long time where whenever he would get a new teammate, he would always like come back and form like massively because of just the extra boost of motivation. You see that consistently with a lot of players, but it stands out more when you got a legend like that, of course. So, Electronics Impact was called into question for sure on Overpass as well, because while Symbol was on the team, uh, for whatever reason, as soon as he started calling, he was also one of the best fraggers. If not, he was definitely the best rifler on the team throughout Lisbon and even at Cologne, he was doing insane work. So that was a bit odd, but it is, of course, the next level of difficulty to have to call without your best player. The sad part for Hedrick was he was by far and away the best player <laughs> on the team. Oh, oh, I camped that out. Okay, met by Perfecto's Desert Eagle, but no second there for Perfecto. Monacy skewers bit as well, but that third player does get around. Head trick with the pistols, just enough. Hooksy, element of surprise, sweeps away the final two kills, and G2 gonna keep this strong start rolling. I need one. Yeah, nothing to complain about here. It's overall pretty good. Can definitely feel Navi looking a little discombobulated at the moment. So, need to keep the head on straight. We talked about this before, but you know, you know, missing grenades and stuff like that. You just don't want to lose rounds like that, especially you put all that prep work in, you talk through the freeze times, you organize an idea, and then it falls through because of a mechanical mistake. Never feels good. But they can survive it. They survived way more. Finally, like a full-fledged gun round. Not a single Tech-9 in the hands here of Navi. Ooh, trying to bait out the shot. Monacy doesn't bite. Until he chops down on bit. Yeah, not a not a place you want to die. I mean, normally, again, you don't want to walk through underpass without top mid control for that exact reason. So honestly, you can get either get traded or stop from peeking that in the first place. But they were trying their best to shoulder him. Die Young gets a little bit further. I'm honestly nowhere to be found. Actually get G2 excavating on ramp, going for some information, figuring out that it is completely clear. So doubles down on the B double up. Man, look at this, G2 working. Yeah. They are no longer going to play without information, so they figured this out. They got a kill in mid with the play. Mid's wide open, and they've secured this huge flank coming out from Nico. Feels like it's only a matter of time. Look how many CTs are over in B. Looks with the jump spots. Goes unchecked. Hunter ices out electronic. Nico's already at the top of that underground entrance. So, I mean, these guys inside of apartments, they don't know it, but they've been corralled and culled like sheep. They get slaughtered. Navi down. Not even a single kill in a full-fledged gun round. And not only not a single kill, but at no point did that look like they even had an opening, yeah. let alone a chance. Doesn't look like Navi to me. 
great shot. I mean, they're kind of working really hard here, but there's lots of time on the clock in the first place, so could you have waited out the bottom con smoke? Sketchy pistols back in the hands of Navi as well. Head trick on his own outside of the ramp. We get bodies into the apartments early on. A little gap there within the smokes. So, Monacy with vision towards top mid. Sees nothing and some die young. I like this. Quick activation. Flash comes over. He decides to charge in. Insta dink into Hooksy. But oh, accidentally reloads with 12 bullets in the gun. And doesn't have time to cancel the reload, draw it back out, and finish off his frag. That's in a, a world one. where he grabs that off, they've got a guy stuck on arch. Three more players inside apartments ready to pounce. Some die young. That's a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, he was already, he was already out though. You know where was the attack behind it? Yeah, it's like they didn't want to like maybe I don't know take the chance until at least the kill was confirmed. But I feel like they they definitely had a chance there to swarm. Now they're not going to get a better chance than that one. No more utility, really. Single smoke for bit. And then they just walk into the meat grinder that is Hunter and Hooksy. Easy does it. Finishes off, gets that bomb dropped, and it's just total full control. So at least this time we saw a Navi with an opening, but an opening that was very quickly closed once there was a, uh, we'll call it a fumble. Yeah, there's that mistake, and then maybe the spacing isn't so great. I mean, but look at the space, right? I mean, he has at least Hooksy tied up in this engagement, and... He really wants this kill. And also, Hunter is in the site somewhere, but it's it's around with Tech-9, so this is where you should be in a swarm mentality more than ever. I mean, if you have a lot more guns behind it, maybe something slows you down, it makes sense. But Tech-9s, you should be running through those Molotovs, committing, trying to stay as close together, getting any trades that you can. Another missed window smoke, I think. Bit never even comes around the corner. Great grenade off of Catwalk there from Hunter, but Head Trick will get an op kill versus Monacy. Wow, Academy League going head to head. Here we have it. <laughs> That's cool to see. Obviously, we've casted so much the Academy League. Uh, Head Trick is somebody that we, we know has been very good, and in this last season actually started offing for the Academy roster as well. So this is an, a brand new role for him. JKS gets smoked out, and he's pinched right now. Some die young on one end. Electronic on the other, and JKS not able to jump away from that smoke. So Hooksy going to go ahead for the save. We've got Navi on the scoreboard. Helps when Hedrick gets a couple op picks. Cancels out Monacy inside of Connector. Creates that opening to swarm into JKS, and sure enough, Navi capitalized. Yeah, Monacy kind of gave him that. He ego peaked him, the re-peak, and Hedrick just waited patiently. Very sound round out of Hedrick. Super solid stuff. And I mean, he was he was putting like a 1.18 rating or something like that over on overpass, a far cry from his second best player on his team. So no questions from this young man. Looks he's been good so far. b sides looking under control here for G2. I don't think they'll be too pressed about losing one round. You know, we saw a lot of double op out of Astralis yesterday on CT side Mirage, and it's not something new, but right to it is G2 here as well, right? So, snipers in abundance here at the Blast Fall groups. Yeah, it's a it's map dependent, of course, but uh, Mirage has lots of space for your operas if you want to have one holding down the B site alone, and then one floating. They can go anywhere. Palace pick, inside a window with a molly in the connector. It all works. Give it up. Honestly, the soul holder, Hunter, off of Cat, almost has a chance there for Electronic, but Electronic shuts that one down. His hopes destroyed. So what can happen here? It depends. It looks like Nico's falling back. Maybe he either boosts Monacy in the window or just sits in jungle and waits. They try to should try to look for some material, though, I feel like. Before they lose grip on the rounds. JKS purveying the A ramp. And we can already see Navi's idea starting to come to fruition. But if they want to get this late attack on mid, I don't think they've scared the CTs exactly. They're starting to peel over towards that B site miss stack. Not the right read. Yeah, this probably is... comes off JKS getting into ramp for free, but 
I think there was a moment here where they could have had a tactic, but they decided to play blind, which is something that they brought up in the uh, interview again earlier. And now they've just gamble rotated. Navi picked the correct site. They're going to know at this point JKS is in the A ramp if they get across to, to Ticket, but he still has a nice place to sit and wait if his teammates can join him. Let's see if they do. Whether they just call this one quits and let Navi slide by with a second. Bullet goes right past JKS. Smoke goes right through the fire. Tease, go ahead and cover that one out. But uh, G2 aren't falling away from this. Electronics taking a long con all the way through underpass, back around through apartments. Hooksy finally bailing on this B site as he's got two teammates up from ticket. I don't think this is a... It doesn't seem like a worthwhile retake. They have one smoke here, but they don't have window control. We're deep into it. Bit wins his duel. Yeah, it feels like it's going to get a little desperate. Shadow spotted by SDY. And JKS can't quite clear the Palace player. So while JKS is going to be able to exit, Monesty just locked in. That ends up costing them three of the four players who could have potentially saved. And what felt like an inevitable second for Navi, sure enough, on the scoreboard. That was, to me, trying to have your cake and eat it too. Like, they went for the blind gamble. And I think when they made that decision, if it ends B, they're really well fortified for it. If it ends A, they're in a really tough position to try to retake. In particular, because of the fact they gave up window. When Bit gets into that position right by the murder hole, that's just hard to get back. It takes a lot of resources, a little luck, and sometimes a distraction to be able to get that kill. And you most of the time won't do it, but they decided to a tap attempt it. I think it went as everyone anticipated, and now they just have less guns. So maybe the wrong economic decision, but they still have a lead. Slipping ever so slightly, not only with a lead, but also with another buy. They're not in that dungeon economically just yet. Still definitely would have been a much more comfortable spot to walk away with those four guns early. See if they can recover here and now. It's not too late and lots of presence through middle. Solo duel for JKS against Sum Da Young. He picks that one up, and we've got G2 right back to winning ways. Five versus three, very comfortably off of a strategy they decide to employ towards middle, and then a reaction over on that A site from SDY. His ninth death, not the hottest of starts from SDY today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they fought fire with fire with this one, so... He dodges the first shots, gets tagged up by the second burst. Bit on the hunt. Decides to slide back. Look at the attention that draws over from G2. She had like four players starting to lean towards B. Could have been a chance for these Palace players to pounce, but they opt not to. Things go silent for a second. He sees it yet again. This time down to a measly 10 health. Monacy tagged up as well. We start to see the blue guys get drawn back over. Nico keeping it locked into Ticket. Pops up, catches Perfecto off. And then Monacy kills Bit inside of the apartments. So poor head trick, all that's left over 1v5. It's a 7 for G2. They've got kind of a great synergy here between JKS and Nico, uh, where Nico is so good from the ticket position. Very far away angles with maybe the best aimer. I think, you know, leave him there every single time. And then JKS under Valk, his complete comfort zone. Both positions are really secure in and of themselves. Mm. I think we saw Nico pop up to make sure no one could make that lurk play happen, which is great. Outside of that, one situation, you know, you've got two players who don't have to watch each other the entire time, which is super strong. So liking what they have going on over on the A site. Almost timed perfectly. That's a great nade, wow. Oof. Hefty damage versus head trick. He's not having a good time trying to peek out from Palace. Nico scouring everything he can. So is head trick posted now, or is he not peeking yet? Nope. No, not yet. Keep it tucked in, bit. Ooh, nice. Quick snap there from Nico. We expect nothing less. But he walks right into the scope of Hedrick, who is eventually posted, and it pays off for him. 
SDY versus Monacy here in mid. Oh, nice jump up from Monacy. Perfectly placed, but JKS gets owned by Electronic. Up close and personal, that AK connects. He burns down to a crisp. And then the leg shot versus Perfecto keeps him alive on three health, but three health means two kills. And Hunter looking for the clutch as Head Trick gets ever closer. And Hunter comes at this oh, weird angle. That's so good. So smooth on the jump back over towards default to give G2 another. That was really nice. That was like the reverse twist. He could feel the peak coming out, you know. The anxiousness from uh, Head Trick to try to end that round early. He knows he's been spotted already. He's taken a little bit of damage. Dealt with beautifully there by oh. uh, Hunter. Man, that bullet went through every bone in his body, right? <laughs> nice second from Perfecto. Yeah. So cheap. It looks silly, but yeah, man. <laughs> from Hedrick's perspective, that looks it's that's hard to deal with. That's that core three, right? Doing what they're meant to. Fast one from Navi. Gonna pick up the tempo, hit this B site, try to bully Hooksy. Keeps himself pressed into the corner, goes unchecked. Mac 10 hops into the bomb site, and some die young clears corner on Van. Hunter loses his teammate, and as he's set ablaze, he decides to fall back. He's got support on Cat, and JKS trying to get out from market. But in terms of quick electric plays, Navi straight into that bomb site, exactly what they would have hoped for out of the spawn. Honestly, trying to find his chance, his angle, his first victim. Yeah, this one might already be too far gone. They, I mean, they have cat control, but they have no big flank. So many players still up in the B halls. No one felt like they had to jump out to help for trades at all. Uncomfortable four versus five, but we've seen them go for wonkier retakes. And this one here kicks it off. Bit answers up close with that MAC-10. Time starts to become an issue, but the kills sure aren't. Here comes Perfecto, up from apartments, but that bomb is just way too far gone. And while some die young is gonna die as he commits, so will Nico. Monacy the only survivor as Navi's rush turns into their third round win. Yeah, that's pretty solid. That's a second time I, I guess Hooksy falls back to the van. Uh, and he's been good about just like trying to pay it, play it. He's playing it pretty standard almost every time, just dropping his van pillar smoke, falling behind it, trying to stay alive as long as possible. Sometimes I think he could probably be crossfire with Hunter. Man, remember when Counter-Strike players didn't have to read to be professionals? Yeah. They asked Blade to write a thousand word essay in school, and he, he wrote it in nine point font just to get extra words in to trick his <laughs> professor because he had more to say. Let's see with a player down in underground. Windows not smoke, so Nico could come and help. But Electronic crosses back, will not be caught. Smoke goes down a second later. Bit starts to draw out a little bit of attention here. Nico rounding back around towards Connector. This is the worst buy we've seen from G2 CT side yet. Could be a real moment for Navi to crack through, and sure enough, Perfecto snaps JKS the moment he peeks into the palace. Kovac brothers inside of this A site. They wait. Bit very much pinned into this corner, but he wins the duel versus Nico. And then Monacy extends around Catwalk. And with nobody else inside mid from Navi, that's a chance for Hunter to come swinging out underneath Palace. He grabs one. Man advantage still here for Navi. And Electronic just ran through that B bomb site. So there they go. Navi pull off A. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and uh, they're actually not even going to take it there because they've got Electronic snuck up into the marketplace. Because he's like, damn, the one time I'm not in B. <laughs> that was a clean one. It was fast. It's, of course, they had a little leverage. Oh, wait. I mean, bomb's coming down super late. There was a chance there. Yeah. There was nobody holding that. If, if he, Hooksy had run two seconds, three seconds sooner. He, he's still here in time, though, and he knows that someone was on default. There's still three up, but he might know electronic pushed. Ooh. Opportunity missed. Yeah, head trick. Nice. Keeps the peak minimal. Monis is going to come join him from Cat. It's Electronic holding the cross. Sure enough, Hooksy walks right into it. And with that, it's Monacy's invitation to walk away. Save that op. Oh my god, get out of there, brother. Yeah. Run for the hills. Yeah, economically, they should be saving a little bit more. I think after he missed that first opportunity, it was already like a you know, low percentage play. 
but he was in a good spot early, so worth a try. Yeah. But uh, fully committed, so. Monesty gets away. Money's no good here for G2. Chance for a fifth now for Navi. Yep. Real opening on this T half. This was the moment where they knew they had it. Only Bit can get this kill. Seriously. He's like so dead. Yeah. You know? Versus Nico of all people. Yeah. Manages to walk away with it. Most of this half has been all about mid. But I think Navi have felt like, all right, we've, we've done that enough. Let's try to simplify a little bit. Now they're looking for pistols. Got one op in Monesty's hands. He's got so many players all around ready to swarm. But they're getting ripped apart nice and easily. Ooh, a little late response there from Electronic. Monesty capitalizes, turns his attention right back to that A site, nails SDY to the wall. A third from Monesty. Do not make this mistake, as others have. Yo. A shot as Perfecto jumps back. Bit looks for his opening over here, but now we've got Hunter with hands on an AK. And so Monesty's three kills on this AWP, pushing him to 16 frags, is a very real chance for G2 to win a round they have no business finishing off. Bit is stuck in this corner. But the CTs have lost track of him. JKS, a victim to the MAC-10. Yeah, electric is an important important point to hold, but it's tough when you've got to try, also try to escort your teammate out. And, oh, Monesky was done with that, but he doesn't get the kill. Felt as though he had it. Can Hunter finish off what Monesty got started? Bit jumping back into the site. Perfecto oh, nearly yeah. caught coming out from apartments, and it's Bit's hit into the B site wow. to recover. He's getting those impossible kills. Yeah, that's the bit we know. It's a beautiful work from him. And honestly, in a situation where it looked like Navi were playing a little scared, right? The way that they come out of Palace after seeing these pistols, as soon as Monesty gets his first op shot, there's like three players in Palace. They do not scale properly. They're worried about getting out. They think they're going to get opt. And so the prophecy comes true. But... There. Yeah. Navi pick up and save it. Fifth round win as it should have been. JKS has Nico to help out. And then through smoke, catching Electronic. So double man advantage right away, but Perfecto blasts him through the floorboards. Bit's gonna use that chance to fake plant once, hopes the CT peak comes, but there's nobody there. We've got three players over here towards jungle and stairs. And the plant goes down behind triple. Bit can't get out of there. Uncomfortable post-plant. Perfecto gives up his position in Palace. Wants to run over towards ramp, but now that that smoke goes down, Hedrick's not in any better of a position. He'll be given two flashbangs. Oh, he's just gonna lamp him. Chucks him over for Perfecto, who runs through with two kills quickly. It's a 10-second defuse for Hooksy, already down to five. Hedrick comes wide, and Monacy ends him. So G2 will get away with that one. But for a second, Perfecto makes it sketchy. Yeah, it's crazy how you can just change uniforms like that. Like, you're in the post plant, but suddenly you're just execing A from the T side. Lamp flashing over. It's a classic one. And they give it their best shot. It was a real valiant effort. This was a little sketchy from Bit. He tries to escape from his position on the side of Triple. I think maybe he's worried about the CT retake coming in and him sitting in a spot like that, but maybe that extra time could have been their saving grace. So a mixed buy to end the first half. It has been so close, economically speaking. And Navi looking for some dignity here for the six. Gonna go quickly into this B site again. Last time it did work out. This time, Hooksy delivers two quick kills as they try to get beyond that van. So things to an immediate halt. Hooksy goes ahead, body bags a third, and then further damage onto Head Trick. Hunter getting closer and closer, can't manage to put down SDY, but now there's so much support here that it should be G2 to just smoothly oh, finish it off. Ace to survive that rapid B hit. 
You know, the previous time they just overwhelmed him, kind of looked targeted, because a site shut down right now between JKS and Nico. But uh, he delivered 10 rounds yeah. for G2 as they take to the offense. Yeah, and I mean, uh, they went B a lot, and I think most of the time he came out ahead, so that was a really good sign. Good one for the confidence. And now he's the entry. That he is. Locks himself into the bench real quick. We leave two players inside of the apartments. Nice little 5v5 retake to kick off the second half. Electronic with the boost from Cat. Catching Monacy. But Hunter trades it right away. Hooksy. Oh, labored fight. And SDY inside of the market also finding a headshot. So suddenly from 5v5 to 4v1. JKS, the only guy who can do anything about this post plant. Feeling the pressure here from all directions. He'll be given the grace of a 10 second defuse but it won't make a difference. Navi, hold off. Yeah, they do, and that makes this game worth watching now. We'll potentially get a close one. I think there will be a lot of pressure here on, on G2. So far, shaping up to be a banger. It was like a, you know, a slightly messy first half, but lots of great rounds, I think, from both sides. Uh, clearly, I think, especially because G2 had the you know, one map rep, they got to attack a lot of their issues and, and you could definitely see that they were prioritizing like making sure to get information in that first half and they were making that game plan to come to fruition so what what did you two have to offer here in the second half on the attack nico was looking for that headshot but nobody presents themselves my hook's already in connector. Trying to squeeze through. Ooh, Monacy's one AK comes out. Hunter follows Ouch. up with even more damage. Poor head trick. He at least kills Hooksy, so that deals with the player up close. Creates a little bit of space for the rotate. Oof. They're, they're playing inside triple. He can actually leave this position if they want to. They have one in Palace. They can set up quite oh, a late volley as well, and a kill. Ooh, nicely done from Hunter. And he's not done yet by the looks of it. Wants to go ahead and turn this one into a jungle kill as well. But there's nobody here. Bit joins head trick. Deep inside a ticket. They're locked out. Hunter's got the good spot. He could even stop him from leaving. Let's see if he gets the kill. No, Bit will take him out. That's info that they were getting out of this fight. So now everybody can run and hide. But it'll, it'll be a round one for G2 with just two rifles to work yeah. with. Modesty gets the first kill inside Palace. Then there was a nice little bit of spacing there as you know, we see the quick turnaround from Electronic, expecting maybe Nico to come out from ramp instead, but that second pl player in Palace just pops it all open. I'm not really a big fan of how there's one player sitting on default and they don't have connector control, no A ramp presence, and no Palace presence. It's not a bad spot to be in, but once he gets spotted, Hooksy's information, it gets called, and they've got nothing to lose. They just swing on him, so... I think they, they could have definitely played that anti-eco a little bit better from a setup perspective. And now they're relegated to two guns themselves. Bit. Ooh, two kills. Holds on. Monacy slides through with it. Avi working with lesser weapons and trying to do the same that was done to them. But Nico recovers it from Palace on the fallback there for head trick. His gun will at least get grabbed by Electronic. Creepy crawl from Monacy. Top connector goes the way of G2. And now Sundai Young, pressured position. But that's clean. Just takes the head right off Hooksy. Gets bomb control of all things. And also on top of that, a second to breathe. A second to try to piece this together. Time for Perfecto to perhaps wrap around top mid. But he doesn't change guns. MP9 still good for further damage. Frag. Oh, oh, they throw him back and forth. And Nico comes out on top, but there's the trade frag at the very least. So a 21 and 7 Monacy will be able to grab that bomb and try to close this clutch. Yes. But this is the CIS Perfecto, or the CIS Zipix, I should say. <laughs> and Monacy knows that. So the bomb goes down default. Or not. Yeah, a fake plant. And he's trying to figure out what Perfecto's next move is. So Perfecto's made it in enormous rotation, but he calls it the fake plant. He can now get closer. Monacy is just trying to figure this out. It's not going to be possible for him to know for sure, of course, if Perfecto left or if he's coming in slowly. But it looks like he's waited enough time that Perfecto's second-guessing this. Well, I can't believe that. After hearing the bomb get fake planted, Perfecto tried to immediately run over to the other site. Now he's got a way harder clutch to win. 
Oh, that's tough. Damn. But, uh, Monacy's not going up into Palace. He's nope. Gonna, he's gonna play for the fight. Putting himself into a position to potentially die. Perfecto making a ton of sound, though, so... Oh! What? He doesn't win the duel! What? Yeah. Exactly. No, that's true. Yep. Okay. Now we uh, we have to remember that the last info that Monacy had was Perfecto's A ramp. So as far as away as he looked on our from our perspective, he got there way early, and Monacy had no idea where he was coming from. Heard those footsteps a little late and could have talked. Still would have probably had to take in the duel or do something really gimmicky and scared and play around triple and then fight afterwards. So I think from his perspective, you hear something running like this. Then you think, okay, I'm going to kill him because he thinks I'm not going to be playing in CT. He's dead to rights, but beautiful aim from Perfecto to make the most of that Thomas. And uh, uh, maybe a very key clutch. Yep. Look at the reward it gives them. Uh, assuming that this very quick push into the A site doesn't just swarm Hedrick and SDY, who waits for Monacy to back up. Gets himself two kills with the Fomus. Nico looking for something to shoot over top of Tetris. Electronic comes wide from jungle oh, to kill missed. Hunter, and now things have definitely gone south. It's gonna take a Nico recovery and a Hooksy helping hand. But he decides to bail back with that bomb. Three versus two here for Navi, and they're just gonna give a bit of space over towards this A site. Ooh, this could be cool. The two IGLs of G2 Esports working together in the mid round. <laughs> the move. Nico just stagnates and ramp for a second. It's given time for Electronic to get past default. He could just tuck into Under Palace and hold. But he's not watching. He's looking straight up the stairs. Bit gets back to Wold from Jungle Cross. That's going to be necessary. There was that little timing that could have gone the way of G2. Instead, Electronic on high alert. Nico right into the crossfire, and Bit picks up both those kills to keep Navi's little bit of momentum rolling. Yeah, yeah. Playing under Balk there by itself is, is one thing, but that crossfire is pretty much too hard to defeat. So a good effort. I think it makes a lot of sense to go there if they made a mistake. And uh, surely he could have died, but wasn't the case. So well done here from Bit. Feels like, I mean, I think he's lost more duels than he's won, but the kills he's got have been pretty critical, so I'll give him that. A penniless G2 Esports here. Very quickly, fed to head trick and electronic. Nico's got an answer. Quick pop out from underground, that's the end of Monacy. Now it's just Hunter to follow suit. So, keeping four alive, very comfortable position here for Navi, and we've got a game on our hands. We do. We definitely do. It'll be cool to see Hedrick uh, opping here on Mirage on TT side, see where he works around. Of course, the thing about replacing Simple, um, besides the enormous, you know, size 14 shoes, is just the fact that he rotates a ton, more than basically anyone else, and Navi are very used to rotating around him, you know, giving him the space he needs and supporting him and all this constant ideas coming in and flowing. And Hedrick is what we know from the Academy League. He's kind of a much more patient, patient opera. He's actually more device-like, I think, than, than simple. If we're going to compare him to two legends. Yeah, right. Yeah. Tough comparisons, <laughs> dude. But Jesus. he has that uh, kind of stability in his personality, I think. So I, I think he actually might ask for less in that sense with where he plays. And of course, he's actually a new opera, so he can rifle just as well. This round, is, of course, he's dead. So he can watch. A quick reality check. Hunter gets past that apartment smoke too. So him versus Perfecto. Yeah, big pickup. Hunter gonna capitalize on all this open space. Smooth five versus three. While they're still looking for something to happen inside of middle, there's just nothing there. Yeah, that is that is well done. Especially with that B anchor kill. It's well done from Hunter and could pretend to go for this. A lot of damage, but no kill fear from JKS. Actually not the best game so far. Despite what felt like a really good start, or at least like, you know, uh, filling his filling his role over towards that A site. There's so many iterations of teams that JKS has kind of been that super forward A player, and then it always seemed like sometimes he just wouldn't have enough help. 
right? But with Nico being that second guy behind him, I, I, I really like the A site CT side from G2. Yeah, that numerically, looks... you know, maybe less kills for JKS, but it just looked like it set up Nico really nicely. It looked like Nico could rely on JKS to feel comfortable. Yeah, I think the stats don't tell a story. I think we saw yeah. definitely some good rounds in the in the first half. Whether it was because JKS was under Balk or because he got kills, but either way, you know, positionally, of course, he's always sound. We know that about JKS. Yep. Now it's just time for him to find his groove on this offense. Also, no one played under Balk more than Jax, so I think this is like a perfect style-wise. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very fair. I watched Jax play under Balk 15 rounds in a row once. Yeah. Probably more than once. Oh, smooth. Hunter already threw connector. Wow. Electronic should be on high alert, but it's not like there's the, you know, most impressive a defense in position right now especially with sdy going down nice response from electronic he's got to quickly snap that into hunter or else this round's essentially already done now if the cross goes south for g2 navi could still sink their teeth into this one it's at least bought time for bit to slide beyond ticket hooksy confirms it and with the flashes they stay honed in on him they have no tag down It'll be alive until he goes for a fight. Or they connect with a little bit more spam. Those smokes are going to come up. I, I think they should be planning to try to plant for connector. They just want the CT kill so badly. Oh, man. This is your worst nightmare. Trying to scale from Tetris, but it gives them a kill. Finally, they find it. But by now, Hedrick's ready to go for the op trades. They're just out of nades, man. Out of nades and out of the bomb site for the most part. Hooksy looking like he wants to go for the around the world back through middle. 30 seconds on this clock. Electronic and Perfecto both starting to bite down on the possibility of the B play. But at least Perfecto stays in underground. So him versus Hooksy could come back into the equation. Head trick. What's he going to be able to deliver? 15 seconds and he finds Monacy, the bomb carrier, at a critical point because somebody has to go and grab that. JKS sprints over, Electronic gets the kill from top connector, and sure enough, as it always seemed, this one may just fizzle out. The peak from Hedrick drops Nico, JKS follows suit, and sure enough, Navi hang on. Let him know, Hedrick. Let's go. Another standout from the Academy League showing up here today at Blast. Well done. That's a big one. I didn't like that very much, though. I mean, they had their two smokes down. I feel like Molly's Molly's obviously make a world of difference here, but I think that they they didn't need to get obsessed with the idea. Nothing but one and done so far for G2. Mm. All in on this one. This would be a great chance for Hedrick and Navi to run away with some rounds, but immediately Monacy waiting for that cat peek. Nobody in position just yet. Dangerous game, some die young. Wait for the flash, it's perfect. The Ooh. damage is almost enough. 95 off Nico's AK. That was a bit too quiet for their liking. Yeah, you could sense it. Now while G2 are entirely through middle. Yeah, look at the slice through the A site, right? They've got someone on default, A ramp control, and CT. So, so they're probably in the past, and this just allows Hedrick to frag, right? He has no worry about the palace peak. He can peek from ticket easily. And it's all the G2 members in connector trying to work towards A, but I think they'll have to look for other plans. Oh, this is interesting. I mean, they score window, plus they're working up onto Cat. But Bits calmed the hall, so Hedrick's just solely focused on the murder hole now. Hooksy tries to come through, gets caught off. Bomb down, confirmed by Bit. Nice shot from Monacy, point blank. Hedrick tries to go through murder hole and point blank. I mean, the AK comes out on top, but you've got 10 seconds. Uh oh. At this point, it's a sprint towards the A site, or you concede. And therefore, they're going to let this one slip past. Nice little, you know, quick, in, in terms of a 2v5, cool to get back something, but time really makes the difference here for Navi's 11th. Yes, it, it really does. So, obviously, this first flash tactic to get the kill. 
most of the time a team is going to have one person either a ramp or palace so it's such a huge find to get that early into the round and then again you look at the slice they have through the a site they're ready for connector that's like the number one thing they deal with so once they get a ramp control hetrick goes up on top of ticket free frag for him he does very well the late rotation into window is one thing but it's already at the point of the round where it's like what are you even doing here you know you've got to be working on a site so it's kind of fine for him to die And the game gets one round closer. Bit jumping around on catwalk. Hunter hears the audibles. Four players stack inside the apartments. B's kind of, you know, they haven't given it too much love this half G2, so... Saw them get in easily with the pistol. 5v5 in the post. Perfecto back on bench with nades in hand. Bit gets wind of it. Dodges the flash, turns attention back in. JKS, clean kill, but he's not able to get that second one. Monacy oh. will off through the tippity top of that smoke. Electronic plays close, slides into Hunter, catching him off guard, and Nico tries to respond. Monacy, good angle into market. And some die young, 1v2. Tough players to take down in this clutch attempt, and he's not even going to get the damn chance. Wow. Blindsided and smoked by Nico. They just slide through that B site pretty easy. Yeah, such a nice attack. Flashes were great. The spacing is here. They're out and across the site, and Monacy hits a very hard shot here. He can... Oh, yeah, okay. Perfecto is actually falling off of the bench. That's nasty. That's 600k. Oh! Yeah, okay. Critical point to pull that one off as well. That's what you're hoping for. Modesty 24 kills. Nico 22. Stars align in that two player hold. SDY finds JKS as they try to come out from ramp. Hunter very quickly up connector though, so that's a trade you take. And everybody else essentially from Navi are just cut off except electronic and if he's not able to get that kill then things kind of seem too far gone but he'll grab one before his teammates can even get vision smokes fade and they get replaced Ooh, nico on the garbage jumps up and electronic gets him modesty not able to capitalize there so electronic man of the round so far here for navi pushes hunter into a tough looking 1v4 Time is at least awkwardly ticking quickly. Navi, yeah, oh my they'll God. find him nice and easy. Good move there from Electronic. Okay. Just using Hunter's jump up against him. I can make a whole video about that round from Electronic. That was so beautiful. He, he smoked himself out of CT to stop anybody from supporting the missile's peak, and he gets this first kill. That's his own smoke he just threw. And then the flash comes out because they're trying to help him scale, and he ends up getting four kills. Got to cut the cord, man. Everyone's been cutting the cord. Didn't you just go back? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm also not pro. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah, fair. Here they're saving with a lead. Saw a vicious B attack a couple of rounds back. Had a lot more to work with, though. So, Nico's one smoke. In Palace. No nades on the side of the map. See what the plan is. Last piece of utility on Nico. Damn, not even a flash for the pop. I don't know if they just threw late window, maybe. Try to get this mid kit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Utility's overrated. Yes. All it does is uh, block your opponents from seeing you, so, okay. That's two. Monacy, that's two. Hunter's already gotten through Murder Hole as well, so now they could suddenly go ahead and pinch this back into the B play. Oh, but Perfecto just turns attention in the nick of time. 
And you could see them kind of crunching the numbers and wanting to lean back towards B, but at the very least, they still have footing towards this A site. It's just bit back on ticket. Nico hands on an AK. Opshot confirms he's nearby. Monacy grabs an op in the meantime. So you put Nico on an AK, which just went down, thankfully for Navi. Very quickly dispatch of that. But JK is coming in on a slow flank. I mean, do they know about him? He's gonna. I think Monacy will see a gun here in a second. Oh, maybe not. Oh, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Now he turns attention back towards Khan. Ticket player as well, an ominous threat. JKS grabs the A1S. They do not know about that long oh, no. flank, but Perfecto turns it upside down, oh. and Bit comes in with the op duel at the exact same time to give Navi 13. I think either kill wins the round. JKS, he picked up a gun with not enough bullets. <sighs> Instantly got turned. I think he ran out of bullets. Oh, that's an awful feeling. Yikes. I mean, that's a great feeling right there. Trading out your teammate as well with the second Deagle kill. Huge moment for Monacy. That was big as well. Can we recuse JKS a little bit here? Did he did he run out of ammo? That seemed like it used every single one, but I'm not exactly sure. I feel like we owe him a double check. Yes. We got to double check. We, we are kind of doubling down, though. I mean, maybe maybe it's only worse if, if we find out there were bullets. But I think I think he did run out. Monacy in position. Missed shot versus head trick. Too fast for his own good. Happens. High game, folks. Full strength buys coming in around 27. And already mid control one here for the T side. So, what's going to. Ooh, nice native response. Unconfirmed damage. Though. Ooh, still impactful. And electronic with another sharp one, man. He's got a cannon today. I say today, actually, overpass wasn't that great. He's back. He's back to Lisbon. Electronic in this map. He just had a warm-up map earlier. JKS started that spray with eight bullets in the magazine. Eight shots mm. is what he picked up. Technically enough. But less than half. Unlucky. Bit ready for the window jump up. Hooksy doesn't drop down just yet. Playing a dangerous game with the clock here in round 27. They have such a nice position, and they know they have to take it to the next level in just a few seconds. Three players here on A occupying all the best spots, and Nico going to flash for the connector peak in the jungle. They're going to hear this, though, and Bit gets his kill. Hunter gets his trade at least, and Electronic's right there to do the exact same thing. A double from Electronic. Finally, an answer here from Nico. Two kills. Doesn't have bomb just yet. Does have time to run and grab it. Problem is, now they hold the cross. And sure enough, he just can't get back into default. Ooh. Well done. Electronic again. Yes, man. He's got laser beams. <laughs> Here's this bit versus hooksy kill. That also very crisp, very clean. Quick trade from Electronic. Doesn't go too far out to expose himself to ramp. How sick was that? Not only did he not expose himself to ramp, he didn't expose himself to Nico and Palace. Yep. Got into the side of default, so that was beautiful. Sectioning, sectioning out all the angles, all the different fights. Beautiful target selection. Great awareness. And Navi have a lead. And he's a father. <laughs> SDY. Top stairs peak. Nobody inside this A site. Ooh, this timing works out for G2. Oh, plus that should oh. have been an opening kill, but Hedrick comes wide with the off kill. Monacy catches Electronic's head. Big scalp to take. SDY to half health. Nico dangerously close. Good cover. Monacy and Hooksy into the 2v3. But damn, did G2 ever pounce? Before Navi could commit anybody to inside that bomb site, Smokes made it kind of weird. Bomb nearing that halfway point. Hooksy's position confirmed. Perfecto and Hooksy locking horns over towards CT spawn. And it's only Monacy left. He gets the first in the 1v3. Catches head trick towards top stairs. Looking for the second kill. Looking to hang oh. on, but it's not going to happen. And with it, Navi 2 match points. That's one more on a long list of really hard retakes here that Navi have pulled off. Clutch kills. Coming out with low time to spare. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> some very close situations <laughs> with what seemed like free kick. What a map for Monacy. Damn. Looking for 30. It's 
not the first 10-5 half on Mirage that just wasn't enough so far in fall groups. Navi not even letting G2 get consecutive round wins in this second set of 15. A, the intended target yet again. First contacts, electronics. Hooksy from bottom connector though. Very important trade. If you can get more than just that one though, that's the money kill. Oh, and Nico wow. takes the dink and still rips SDY off that ticket booth. Hooksy looking for a more comfortable position, goes into the extension, and that is a clean headshot versus Bit to keep G2's hopes alive. Smoke top con, bomb down, nice and easy, 30 round game. Oh, that changes the tie totally. Hooksy or right there, it, it would have been 3v3. Perfecto thinking about it. It comes down to okay. if they have the money to buy next round, they probably do. They even have the op as well, but of course they would risk it if they try to go for this. They won't die in the post plant. Man, it's 2v2 with half the time still left on the clock, but everybody's already receded into their apartments. And now, uh, okay, G2 back in the game. Something that's also been noticeable is Hunter really aggressive lurks. Feels like he's got Vaseline on the bottom of his shoes. It looks like he's walking faster than everybody else. I don't know how he's getting into connector and all these timings. But that's worked out, and Hooksy takes his place this time. Big round. This second kill on Bit, that was so clean. Yeah. But I mean this. Yeah. The small crosshair abuser himself. That's mad. That's yeah, decent enough. Hooksy relegated to the MAC-10. Other than that, full-fledged G2. Oh, man. Back to B by the look yeah, of it. Yeah, they, they had a piercing B attack, you know, six, seven rounds ago. Perfecto's been sharp, however, in a position to see flashes, fall back in his position, not dropping any grenades. Ooh, runs and runs all the way back. Hedrick comes in with the kill, but that MAC-10 from Hooksy, that's the entry for G2. A second op kill off of the catwalk. Okay, they've got electric control. They can get out into the site. They're making sure to be careful that Navi don't try anything, but it looks like we're about to transition into a retake, and... Navi have the advantage slightly. That op disappears from Cat, doubles back around into the marketplace. We've got three players in market and a late electronic play off Cat. Head trick doing everything so far for Navi. It was Hooksy with the ace to end the first half. Well, it may just need to be head trick or we go OT. Electronic starts to run up through the arch, tries to draw attention, does so successfully. They've just got to finish off Hooksy, who will not be able to stop them. It's a full house between head trick and electronic to give Navi 16.